I grew up in a ghetto. I grew up on welfare. I grew, we were the people that got the Salvation Army basket at Thanksgiving. And um, I can remember going to Kalakaua Junior High School, and I got to go to choir. And they had a piano, and I always wanted to play the piano. And the, I only knew one song, and I only knew how to do it on one finger. Mm -hmm. And I asked the teacher if I could do that, and I think he was expecting some great pianist. <laughs> and I went up there and played Heart and Soul on one finger. <laughs> <clears throat> I mean, looking back on it now, you know, I'm really embarrassed. But um, growing up, I was the one that would al was always being asked to be quiet. Not because I was talking, because I, I was either whistling or singing. And I learned to whistle really well because my stepdad said, no, girls shouldn't whistle. And so I practiced when he wasn't there so I could get really good. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but music was really important. And it's a long story of how I eventually became an Adventist. But that was my seventh grade year at Kalakaua, the worst junior high school on the island of Oahu. And I, the first day that I was there, I went out to lunch. And it was scary. I mean, there was police on campus. And, and I told the girl sitting behind me in math class that was right after lunch, I said, I don't want to go out there again. She said, you don't have to. If you come into this classroom, <clears throat> excuse me, if you come into this classroom before the second bell rings, you can have your lunch in here. Mrs. Ichinosi will allow us to stay in here. Long story short, Mrs. Ichinosi was an Adventist. The girl behind me was an Adventist. Mm -hmm. And um, at some point, she, she realized I was interested, and, and we got to talking. She wanted to come out to my house. Well, about now I'm realizing what my family situation is like. She didn't say anything for two weeks, and I thought, well, she's written me off. And she finally asked me to meet her after school one day, and she said, you know, I've been praying a lot about this. And I think that God has a plan for your life, but we've got to get you out of the environment that you're in. I want you to go to Hawaiian Mission Academy, and I will pay your first year. And I got to be in a real choir, and I got to learn piano. And from that time, music has been critical to my life. I can't live without music. I have it on. I don't have background music. I never have background music because I can't do Amen. background music. I, I'm either in the music or I'm not, so there's never any background music. Um, so it, that, um, that beginning in the eighth grade in the Adventist school system where music is so crucial, my soul was fed, my spirit was fed, and I knew that this was what my life was going to have to be. It had to have music, and I would take music in any form, um, except I really did try to say no to, to doing this with the men's chorus. But here I am. And as I look back on, there's just no way that a kid like me ends up in a classroom like I did with somebody who's looking who's looking for where God wants her to go, to, who's looking for someone to lead. There's just no way that this happens accidentally. It, it's God's leading, and that's, that's how I came to be here today.